Hello, zombies! Like the title says, my puppy will be choosing my FX makeup today. And by puppy, I don't mean Ripley. Tomorrow, I'm getting you a brother. You're not gonna be an only child anymore. I'm gonna need you to be a big sister. Can you do it? I thought you'd take this <laughs> But I'll always love you. You'll always be my favorite, don't tell him. I mean my puppy. You're both so heavy. Creature. Yes, his name is Creature. They're both very sleepy right now. They've been napping. Oh, he's so cute. Yes, I have another doggo. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know about this little guy, but he is the newest addition to the family. Ripley is now a big sister, and Creature is her new little sleepy brother. Wake up, honey. Honey, wake up. You gotta address the zombies. You can't meet all sleepy like this. Oh my gosh, he is just not having it. <laughs> Creature is also an Alaskan Klikai, the same as Ripley, but he's new to Earth. I asked you guys on my Instagram, at Mikey, M-Y-K-I-E, what questions you had about Ripley, or about Creature, or about Alaskan Klikais in general, because I get asked stuff about them all the time. They're a fairly uncommon breed, so people always want to know stuff, like how did you shrink that husky? So I will be answering questions in this video. Good morning! Also, if you'd like to see more pictures and videos of the two of them as Creature grows up, you can follow them on their Instagram account, at glam underscore and underscore growl. Glam and growl. Oh honey, you're such a little teddy bear. A lot of people have done the dog or puppy picks my makeup trend. I am by no means even close to the first. All the greats have done it. Nikki Tutorials. I think Kathleen Lights did it. I think Jay Kissel was the first that I saw do it. James recently did one with Finnegan, his puppy, and today we're gonna to do it but fx style creature are you ready to turn me into a creature he's not even awake <laughs> <laughs> you don't care at all i'm gonna enjoy this while you still let me do that because when you grow up you're not gonna let me do it oh my gosh i love you there we go okay sleepy bear do your best I'm giving him two options for each part of the face, and you must make the ultimate decision. All right, first up we have an elongated forehead or a caveman forehead. Choose! Elongated forehead! Great, honey! Good job! Good choice, honey! So, the first choice made by Creature is this gigantic gigantic forehead. I would argue this is a, an eight head, nine head. I thought my forehead was big, but this is gonna take a lot of prosade. So let's get to it. Goodbye, brow. That didn't work as good as it used to. And suddenly my forehead looks a lot more like our prosthetic. So while we do makeup, I'll answer some questions from Instagram. The most basic question is, what breed is this floof? Alaskan Klikais are not Pomskis. They are often called mini Huskies, but technically they're not mini Huskies, though. They are their own breed with their own set of, you know, like breedy requirements and bougie crap like that. Ugh. I was just spilled prosade all over Peter's laptop. <laughs> they have their own temperament and personalities and things. Oh my God, they're so cute. Ripley. Don't worry, Ripley's getting plenty of attention and love through this process as well because she is such a jealous queen and she would have it no other way. But you don't let me kiss you. He lets me kiss him for hours. That sounds weird. You know what I mean. Flashback to a second ago. Oh, I like that. Thanks, buddy. Gages smell gross, don't they? Almost as bad as your butt. Anyway. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it like this. Okay, don't fight the whole time though. A lot of people asked about the name. They wanted to know who thought of the name creature. They wanted to know what other names were in the running. I started calling Ripley a little creature in the past few months and I thought that that was such a funny name for a dog. And I told myself that I was gonna name my next dog creature. But then when it actually came time to picking out a name, I still came up with a list of other potential names that I liked and might want. I was thinking along the lines of creature and thinking maybe going with a whole theme of names like creature, monster, ghost, so I could naturally say a ghost all the time. Alien was a front runner because Ripley is a character in Alien and I thought that Ailey would be a really cute dog name to go with that. 
But then I was also thinking about a theme of last or first names of classic horror villains or characters. So I had a whole list of potentials like Torrance or Jack, because I liked Jack as just a general name, but I would name him Jack Torrance after The Shining. I also liked the name Creepy, because I just think that's a hilarious thing to call a dog. I could shorten it to Creep, could call him Creeper, or just Creepy is cute. But the biggest front runner besides Creature was the name Voorhees. Voorhees obviously Jason, Friday the 13th. So much so that when I got him, I thought I was calling him Voorhees and I tried to call him Voorhees for an entire 24 hours. However, I came to realize that Voorhees was just not rolling off the tongue and Creature kept popping back into my head. So it just felt right. He feels like a creature to me. I think I might name a dog Voorhees eventually because it's really badass, and I do love Friday the 13th. The irony is that now that I've decided to call him Creature, I keep accidentally calling him Voorhees. Doesn't matter. He is Creature. You know what? He's Creepy Creature Voorhees. That's his full name. No, it's not. The short answer is I came up with the name. Next. <laughs> we have an elongated chin and a butt chin. Choose. Elongated chin, yeah! Good choice. Gigantic chin. Oh. Oh, oh, you know, I've always had a really round face shape and I've always wanted a longer face. Today I get it, in all directions. It's a nice, fast chin implant. Oh my, wow, that's a profile. <laughs> yes, 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 I love it. Let me answer another question for you guys, now that I'm looking extra s Oh, can't say that, demonetized. I'll bleep it for your ears. Oh, gotta bleep that too. A lot of people want to know if the doggos are getting along well. And the answer to that, happily, honestly, thank God, is yes, very well. Ripley has been a very, very, very good big sister to him. And that was a giant problem that I was extremely worried about in getting a second dog, which I will go more into in a second. But uh, the short answer is yes. And here are some adorable videos of them being absolutely so freaking cute together. Next up, we have lip options. We have these Joker-esque clown lips, or we have a very simple cut, split lip. Go! Okay, clown lip it is. Are you just picking everything on the left side? Honey. Okay, it's like a giant mustache. We got lips, jokery lips. I'm just gonna look like the Joker at this point. While I'm waiting for the bottom lip to dry, a lot of you asked me what made me want a second dog. The first reason is that I always grew up with at least two dogs at a time, always. Sometimes three, but I'm used to dogs in pairs as buddies, keeping each other company. When I got Ripley, I only got her at first, always assuming I would get a second one in like a year or two, but things got crazy. And honestly, Ripley's a crazy dog. However, Ripley is an incredibly intelligent dog and I have a dog camera so that I can see what she's doing when I'm away. And the more I watched her on camera and saw how just insanely bored she seemed while I was away, the more I realized she really needs a friend. She's not home alone often since I work from home, which is good. But anytime I was out, it was apparent that she needed a pal. Also, Klikai's are extremely high energy. And I know that a very good way to exhaust her would be to get her a little friend, especially a little friend that has as much energy as she does. Another question I got a lot is, why did I pick a second Klikai over other breeds? The very short answer is that Ripley is extremely difficult to deal with. And I mean like kind of a nightmare with every other dog I've ever seen her with, except other Klikais. So after a lot of searching and wanting other options for the second dog, I ended up getting a Klikai. Okay, nose. We have a pig nose and a zombie nose. Choose! Pig nose! You are choosing everything on the left. He's very consistent. Well, this just took a turn. About to get real weird up in here, like I wasn't already. Oink. Wow. This is a look creature. Wait up, pick it. So like I said, I did not expect Ripley to get along great with this puppy. She has a track record of not getting along well with other dogs. And I'm very, very happy to say that they are getting along very well. I'm hoping that Creature can teach her some manners when it comes to other dogs because he will show her that other dogs are a lot of fun too. 
She gets along okay with Calvin, but like Calvin does not like her. Kenzie, Katie's other dog, is terrified of Ripley. Cause she's just so energetic and hype and like gets in the face of every other dog. Big dogs think that she's prey because she's so intense and they go into like attack mode right away when she runs up to them. And little dogs hate her. They're afraid of her or they're bothered by her. So luckily, Creature is also supposed to be a bit bigger than Ripley is in size when he's fully grown and he's not gonna take shit from her. All right, everything's on. Time to seal the edges and then paint. What color should we do, Creature? I'm scared. Okay, Creature. I need you to pick between a rainbow color palette and a zombie color palette. Go. Always the left. Wait, would you pick these even if they were in the other spot? Creature, come here. Now choose. Okay, all right. <laughs> pick one. Oh, he sniffed that one. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're two for two. I think James had to do the same thing in his puppy video where the puppy kept picking the same side. So then he moved it and the puppy still picked that one. Creature, you and Finnegan should be friends. Whilst I blend the edges, a lot of people wanna know what Alaskan clique eyes are like. I'm gonna give you a quick overview of the breed. They fully grown are anywhere from seven pounds to about 22 pounds, which is pretty tiny. Ripley, fully grown, is a whopping 16 pounds right now. Although I think she's putting on some weight for the winter. Height-wise, she's between a mini and a standard size Klikai, if anyone's interested. But they get as small as a toy size, which I thought she was gonna be because she was so tiny when I got her. But she's filled out nicely. Temperament-wise, they are super energetic. They are very vocal like a husky. If you've seen any other video of mine with Ripley in it, you know she's a talker. <laughs> and not just like barking, I mean like full-blown conversations. I feel like I know what she's saying to me when she talks to me. And I feel like she understands me when I talk to her. It's very weird. They're highly intelligent dogs. Because they're so smart, from what I've heard and in my experience, they're very easy to train. Ripley has been super, super easy to train command-wise. The problem is that partially because they're so smart, they're also very willful. Ripley is very stubborn. She does what she wants to do when she wants to do it, but I know, I know she knows what I'm asking her to do 100% of the time. So it's tough. I always say to people, I have a very well-trained dog. I do not have a very well-behaved dog. It's honestly kind of frustrating considering I've gone through two trainers with her. I spent a lot of time socializing her as a puppy. I know she's trained well, but it's getting her to want to do the things I want her to do that is, by food, that's so rude. High five me! Yes. However, they are meant to be companion animals, which means they are extremely, extremely loving, very snuggly. They are very loyal to the humans that they like. You know, this doesn't go for all of them, obviously, but in general, they tend to be antisocial to the humans that they don't know or like. It can be worked out of them, but it is darn difficult. And they're pretty free of health problems in general. And I got Ripley initially because I wanted an easy first dog that would be low in health problems and that would really be a companion animal to me because my anxiety was at its absolute worst around the time that I wanted to get her. And I really wanted a dog that would want to be by my side all the time and she is definitely that dog. She's helped me a ton with my anxiety. Anytime I'm having a bad day, I, I literally just like dig my face into her fur. She reminds me all the time to just be thankful that at least she's healthy and she's alive and she's here. So when I'm having a really stressful day, I like use her as my measure of how bad is my life right now? It's not that bad. She's here, we're all good. They are a relatively new breed. I think they started coming around in the 80s. They come in three different colors. I have two of the three now, obviously. It's like I'm collecting Pokemon. They can be black and white, they can be gray and white, or they can be red and white. Sometimes they're also fully white. They can have brown eyes, they can have blue eyes, they can have bicolored eyes, which means like half of one eye could be one color, the other half of the eye could be another color. They could have two different color eyes. Ripley's eyes are like a light brown, but some are really dark. Creatures are both blue and they will stay blue. Oh, and they're kind of like cats. Ripley's basically a cat dog. She does weird cat-like stuff. Not limited to going in a litter box, which I'll talk about in a second. With all that said, I feel obligated to remind you guys that if you are interested in Klee guys, getting a dog, any breed, is a really, really giant decision. They take a lot of work. They're a lot of responsibility. 
and they're gonna be around for 10 to 20 years and you need to expect that. You need to expect that especially when they get older, they're gonna cost a lot more money because of medical bills. They cost a lot of money as is, it's, it's not a small decision. So do not get a pet if you think you will ever end up giving one to a shelter or abandoning it. Do not get a pet. <coughs> oh my God. <coughs> I think Anthony's here. I can't wait to show him how pretty I am. <coughs> Thank you, Ripley. Uh, Kleekai's are great watchdogs. She's not gonna do shit if an intruder comes in because she's a, she's 15 pounds, but she'll let you know if someone's there. Now we dry. Hi, honey. Hey. Wow, beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Creature picked it out for me. Oh, I'd really? kiss you, but you know. Yeah. Mm, I'm sure you felt that, right? No, not at all. <laughs> hey, honey. Hey. Are you happy with your decision so far? It's been a rough day today. You wanna hear a story? First thing when we wake up, I'm trying to get him to go in his litter box. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting next to his litter box in my room and I'm saying, go potty, go potty, go potty. Mm -hmm. Ripley is real hype and it's like she's trying to show off that she knows what I'm asking for. She hops down, puts her front paws in the litter box and pees immediately on the carpet what? next to me. Yeah. I'm washing my hands from cleaning up her pee. Yeah. He pees, all is well with the world. He poops. Like a lot to the point that I was talking to him about it. I was like, are you okay? This is a lot. This is box. like bigger than your body. Yeah. Okay. But that's important. I swear because then we go out there. <laughs> this is like all happening within a 10 minute span. I feed them, which, you know, is a feed in itself because they're a little psycho right now about yeah. who's getting fed first. Mm -hmm. And then I'm getting my airbrush ready and I see him like sniffing up a storm behind me. And I'm like, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? And then he just not in his litter box, which is right next to him, just starts to shit again within 10 minutes of the first one. And when the first one was a ridiculous amount. I know. And I picked his little butt up and I said, no, 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 no. And I put him in his litter box and he finished in the litter box. Oh my God. There's a whole series of like washing my hands, cleaning the ground, washing yeah. my hands, cleaning the ground, chasing after them. Wow. It felt like a sitcom. Yeah, that's what it seems like. My life. Did that seem like a precursor to how your day was going to play out? I mean, look at how my day's playing out. Yeah. What do you think? Yes. They're doing great now. He's being real cute right now. You are being real cute. Talk to me. <laughs> You're so fluffy still, I love it. Ripley wants some attention. Would too. you like some attention, Ripley? Ripley doesn't clean my ears like this. Clean my ear. Clean her this ear. This is a test. How much clean, do you love me? Clean the ear. How much do you love me? Clean it. She shall not. Wow, see? Look, mm. I hold him up to my ear for a second. Instantly. Into it. Wow. Disappointed. <laughs> Disappointed. I taught you better. Tota Palda! Are you the best boy? He's pretty good. He's a pretty good boy? Ooh, we know where your bias lies. Oh, the sounds of my next 15 years. You're really throwing yourself to the tiny wolves over there. Love each other! Love each <coughs> other! <coughs> oh my god. Ah, <sighs> these colors. <laughs> the color scheme is bright. <coughs> Shut up for a second. <coughs> I'm gonna give you to Peter. If you're not careful, they'd keep, probably love that. Keep it up, guys. The plan's working. <laughs> so I'm gonna do all bright colors, but if I need to use white, and or black to darken or lighten something, I will. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do with this. I didn't wanna tell you this while the airbrush compressor was on because it would be annoying to hear it in the background. However, we have our own little airbrush compressor going at all times now that I have two dogs. Shut up! Time lapse time. <laughs> wow, what is that noise? Oh my God, honey. I'm repairing some edges that didn't come out so good. But while I do that, and in between all the noise, the litter box, let's talk about that. If you've seen pretty much any other video of Ripley, you might've heard me say that she is trained to ding a bell with her paw when she wants to go outside, and then she goes in a litter box. I mean, she knows how to go outside. Like she pees outside just fine. Actually, it's hilarious because she'll kick up all the grass to make sure that she's burying her scent, I guess, but she does a terrible job and it's the funniest thing I've ever seen. But she also knows how to go in a litter box, which is extra nice too, especially being in an apartment. If she rings the bell in the middle of the night, that way I don't have to go out in the front of the apartment building by myself at 3 a.m. and walk her. So it's a nice, easy access option. How did I train her to do that? Will I train Creature to do that? I will definitely train Creature to do the same. It wasn't that hard to teach her. She was a very fast learner, but for me, it was piecing together a bunch of other things. First, she needed to know how to use a litter box. That's not too hard to teach a dog. There are like paper pellets designed specifically for dogs. So yes, litter boxes for dogs is a thing. Litter box training is extra useful for puppies because they can't be walked outside until they've had all of their shots. Otherwise they risk catching parvo. So a litter box is a great 
option. They tend to have to go to the bathroom right after they eat, after they wake up from a nap, and after they play. If you pay attention to a puppy, you'll start to notice they have certain tells of when they're looking to go to the bathroom, mainly sniffing, circling. So if you see them do that, you just pick them up and you put them in the litter box. You say, go potty, and when they do it, you freak out with praise and you give them treats. Do that enough, they will be litter box trained. Then to get her to go outside. First, I taught her that the litter box moved from inside the apartment to outside the apartment on a balcony. And I put the litter box on the other side of the glass door. I put a treat out there and I started with jingle bells around the door handle. I would hit the jingle bells and I'd open the door and I'd let her get the treat. And then eventually she got tired of waiting for me to ring the bell and she'd boop it with her face. And then I'd open the door and then you watch for signs of when she has to go to the bathroom. When she's starting to exhibit those signs, you bring her over to the door, you tell her hit the bell, she'd hit the bell, go outside, go to the litter box. Then we transitioned to a desk bell where she uses her paw to hit the bell, which I think is way funnier. And the rest, as they say, is history. Anyway, back to the colors. I'm making like no progress at all. This video is gonna be 75% me answering questions with half the makeup done. And then all of a sudden it's gonna come together. Whoa, you just unplugged the monitor, you fools. It's actually pretty impressive. Is it, Peter? Is it? Pardon the squeaks. But this is the puppy video, so I don't really care. I feel like a tropical pig, like the kind that bite tourists in the ass. <laughs> I'm not gonna shoot a cap into my face this video. Good nope. job. Thank you. Learn from your mistakes. Uh huh. You need to turn on the machine? Yeah, or? I am. Shut up. <laughs> I want to be a clown pig. Yeah. It's the only way to go. Yeah. Ooh. A sad clown pig. Yeah, sad. You don't see yeah, sad pigs very often. Emo sad clown pig. Yes, I like that. It's a little redundant. Yeah. I took the cap off this time. Make no mistake. Good job. Thank Round you. Of applause. Oh, still very powerful though. All right, sunset birthday pig clown. That's what creature picked. I don't make the rules, I just follow them. No, 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 no. What are you doing? Pumping. You just, look what you just made me do! You better take that back, because I didn't make you do anything. No, not you, Ripley! Wait, what did Ripley do? She was doing something crazy, so I said, what did she do? And I ruined everything. No, she was just humping creature. No, she was just humping creature. They're siblings, that's not okay. You're a big sister, no humping your little brother. Demonetized and messed up. Oh no. She was really going to town on him. <laughs> it's like she just laughed at me with her freaking toy. <laughs> You're a birthday clown, Ripley. <laughs> oh my god. Shut up. I thought you were murdering him. Oh, he got tired out. He fell asleep with a bone in his mouth. <gasps> oh my god. This is a picture of what's currently happening. He fell asleep with a bone in his mouth. Precious, we must protect. I tried my best to repair that. That's the best I can get it. It's pretty good. Eh. Should I splatter a color on? Ah! 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 That went in my eye! Oh god! You okay? Yes, but they're alcohol based paints. What a disaster. Note to self do not splatter alcohol based paints on your face. And if you do, close your eyes. That actually helped a little bit. Just to give it some texture, break it up a bit. I should be talking through this, but I'm not. Someone asked what trait do you love most about your dogs? Well, Creature's personality is still developing, but I can already tell this is gonna be true for both of them. I think my favorite thing about them is that they're so freaking funny. Like, there's something about the personality of a Klikai. They're tiny psychos. They're so strange and weird and funny. And they're not like dumb funny, like some dogs, which is also the best, but they're so uniquely strange. 
I think that's my favorite part. He's really into hiding under stuff and using it to get the upper hand with Ripley. So he's a little smarty too. Like I have a double layer coffee table and he'll run through the bottom layer. I had to literally get rid of the things that were on the bottom layer because he would just get up there anyway. He'll run through the bottom layer to shortcut Ripley in a chase or to hide from her because you know she can't fit. It's pretty hilarious. Wow, I wish I had never done what I did on these eyelids. Thought I was helping some. I just need to stop. I think that's what I've learned. I need to stop. That looks like crap. I'm just gonna ignore that ever happened. Wow, let's just do it again. This is officially still my good side. We gotta give him to pick contacts. Okay. Very enthusiastic. Purple it is. Goes with the theme. It was between green and purple. Good boy. You still picked the left. My right, but their left. All right, I think we need teeth. For teeth, we have either these nub teeth or these, what they're calling gravel teeth. It's like a demon rabbit, I don't know. Juice! Honey, you always go to the left. <laughs> All right, nubs it is. Wig. Ripley, pick a wig any wig. Pick a wig, honey. Oh, yeah? Good job, sweetheart. Montage time. You've never seen me in FX makeup before. How do you feel? Ripley's not afraid of me. She doesn't even care. You look like you care a little bit. <gasps> Boo! Nothing. You good boy. You chose this. Do you like it? I'm getting Tinder picks my FX makeup vibes. Hardcore. I feel like a Jim Henson nightmare. I feel like a Muppet on acid. Are you gonna have puppy dreams about my face? So my dogs wanted to turn me into a super glam clown pig. And this is the creature the creature decided on. Good job. Did I do you justice? Like this video if you like dogs. I wanna know who all you cat people are right away. I'm so, 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 so happy because she seems so much you can't just lean back. I'm so, so happy just because Ripley seems way happier having a little friend, so mission accomplished. All right, you're both too heavy. Get out of here. That looks like it's his tail, but it's not, it's Ripley's. <laughs> if you're new or lurking, hit subscribe because we do lots of this weird stuff on here. It's a party. Are you okay, honey? Are you all right? There's a lot going on. <laughs> Your face, slow-mo it. Get your face out of my hair, bro. Hit the notification bell even though Ripley finishes out. Speak. <sighs> you heard her, folks. Follow them at Clam and Growl on Instagram if you want to see more of this cute little baby. And Ripley, also a cute baby. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, you're so cute, buddy. Oh, you're so adorable. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh. oh. Good boy. You're a star, honey. Hey, creature. Hey. Hey, creature. Thanks for turning me into a creature, Tootsie. You're a star.